the quantum model. Since we cannot say exactly where an electron is, the Bohr picture of the atom with its electrons in neat circular orbits cannot be correct. Quantum theory describes an electron probability distribution. The figure over here shows the probability distribution for the ground state of hydrogen. That's n equal 1. The probability of finding an electron at a location is represented by the density of dots at the location. So see how the blue is denser in the middle? You're more likely to find the electron there than out here on the fringes where it's a lot lighter. And then farther out, there are no dots. So you don't expect the electron to be found out there at all. Now in reality, of course, there's probably a little dot there and a little dot there. Electrons are funny, but go by the density of the color there. That's the greatest probability for finding your electron. When you solve Schrodinger's wave equation, again, we're talking college, it takes the form of sets of numbers. And I think earlier we talked about four different quantum numbers, and they're going to be n, l, m1, and ms. And this will tell you the state or probable location of an electron. So the first one is n, the principal quantum number. This actually corresponds to what Bohr had with his energy uh, levels, n equals 1, n equals 2, n equals 3, n equals 4, and so, for, so far. Now, of course, this isn't exactly what it looks like, but this gives you a good idea. And it's nice that Bohr could kind of evolve into this quantum mechanical thing with Schrodinger. L is your angular quantum number, and that tells you the shape of the orbital. And that just means the electron is going to be found somewhere in this unusual shape here. You then have ML, which is your magnetic quantum number, and that tells you which way these guys are pointing. So you can see here's something shaped like this aligned along the x-axis, here's along the y, and here's along the z. One more quantum number, spin, and that tells you the direction of the electron's spin either clockwise or counterclockwise. Now again, a bit of caution. The electron is not spinning. The electron is a point particle. There's no sense of spin. But it has this unique property where it's got two different properties. And what quantum mechanics also tries to do is make it somewhat make sense to you at the level we're used to. And people can get spin. Here it is two ways it can go. But it's not really spinning. An orbital is a region of space where an electron is most likely to be found. Not exactly where it's going to be found, but most likely. The principal quantum number, which we talked about earlier in this presentation, n, that describes the energy level of the orbital, often called the energy shell. So that's a holdover from Bohr, which is kind of neat. The values of n are integers greater than or equal to 1. The larger value of n, the farther from the nucleus the atom will most likely be found.